Hey guys, want to do a quick review of these Gas Gas ECA2 E mountain bikes. Picked these up just a few weeks ago. I already have over 100 miles on one of them. You know, we really struggled to find a good, reasonably priced mountain bike, or e mountain bike, I should say. Didn't want to spend a fortune. Again, I am no expert mountain biker by any stretch of the imagination. But I like to get out there and hit the trails when I can and enjoy myself. So as you can see, these have the rock shocks rear suspension. The rock shock domain front suspension you've got your dropper seat which is activated right here you've got your main controller shows you your miles you'll adjust how much you want to increase battery assist right by using this button right here it also has a walk mode which is going to be this button right here which actually comes in handy if you have to push it up a really steep hill you're going to hit that button and it's going to put it in like a creep mode and you can just walk right along the side with it you've got your gear shifter and obviously both your brakes Now we did end up purchasing two of these bikes, one for myself, one for my son. Always nice to ride with someone when you're on an even playing field. You'll see the charger right down here. And you're going to plug that in. Right down here at the bottom of the frame. Now to give you a sense of how long these batteries do last, we went for a three hour mountain bike ride the other day and my battery went down by about 25%. Now again, I'm not riding on max assist mode all the time. Matter of fact, I'm usually in eco mode. I use max assist mode when I absolutely have to to get up a very steep hill. So you're still getting plenty of exercise, but it keeps you out there a lot longer let you do a lot of the trails that you may or may not have done if without the assist. I am also coming from a hardtail, so having a full suspension has also been really nice. Again, the only thing we did upgrade from these bikes from stock were these pedals. The stock pedals weren't bad, but they certainly didn't give you a ton of grip. And we purchased these from Kaplan Cycles in over here in Connecticut. Really great shop, great customer service. And hopefully this video helps someone that was thinking about picking one of these up or trying to find an affordable e-mountain bike that could do the job. And I mean, we've jumped these, we've ridden them through rocks, through you name it, and they've held up just fine. Any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And again, hopefully this helps someone. Thanks.